What's up gamers, hi guardians, and hello internet. Welcome to another Sloop Gaming video and welcome to another Tuesday reset day in Destiny 2 with update 7.2.5. Join in the party with the start of the Spoopy Festival, Festival of the Lost. I don't know about you guardians, but I'm not really not that excited about it, but it is what it is. Let's just have fun regardless. And Let's take a look at the update. Destiny 2 update 7.2.5 activities. In the Crucible, fixed multiple out of bounds areas on multiplex. Disabled Icarus Dash while using Aegis Shield in the Crucible Relic game mode. Fix an issue where sparrows could be used on multiplex. Hashtag no fun. Trials of Osiris Meltdown made some adjustments to the Dominion Zone and the heavy ammo spawn positions. Raid and Dungeon. Root of Nightmares encounter challenges are now active. Grasp of Avarice. Players no longer lose additional ability charges when acquiring 10 Burden by Riches. Seasonal Activities fix an issue where the Lacuna card would suppress players after eliminating a combatant with a weapon with Repulsor Brace. Fix an issue where the Victory Lap Brazers and Deep Sights that had been interacted with disappeared before newly joining players could interact with them. Fix the missing speaker name for holographic message subtitles. Open World fixed an issue that caused a small number of players to be granted own exotics from Legend and Master Lost Sectors and from Vex Strike Force instead of unowned ones. Gameplay and Investment, Armor and Expressions, Exotic Armor, and Teus Wards. Reflect Events now requires full class energy to deploy. Following deactivation of Reflect Events, your class ability energy is drained proportional to the amount of damage reflected. No longer provides an improved slide. Young Ahankara Spine reduced the trip mine grenades, increased HP to 70, down from 100, and removed the bonus 50% damage resistance. Grenade energy is now provided on ability kills instead of damage with abilities. Foe Tracers no longer grant max surge bonus on Glaive and Sword kills. Icefall Mantle fix an issue where players spawn without class ability energy in the Crucible. Astrocyte Verse description has been updated to better match its functionality. Please, in the comments below, let me know what the description reads because I don't think I've used Astrocyte Verse in four years. Path of the Burning Steps. Fix an issue where having the exotic perk active wouldn't change its appearance. Pyrogale Gauntlets updated the exotic perk description to match its gameplay. Now, Pyrogale, I have used recently. General. Fix an issue where Photonic Vest was not available in the Armor Synthesis screen. Fix an issue where the Hinterland, Biosphere Explorer, and Ossuary Ritual Armor sets dropped with lower than intended stats. The Valkyrian Mask Hunter Helmet no longer has a hole in it. Fix an issue that caused the new Ritual Armor to drop with low stats. Weapon and Accessories, Weapon Tuning, Submachine Guns, General, Increased Recoil Globally by 10%. Reduce the mouse and keyboard stability bonus from 20 to 10%. Auto rifles, rapid fire, reduce the aim down sights or ADS damage fall off scaler from 1.7x to 1.6x. Adaptive, reduce the ADS damage fall off scaler from 1.7x to 1.6x. Increase the base damage from 14.25 to 15. Decrease critical hit multiplier from 1.6 to 1.55. Crit damage goes from 22.8 to 23.3. Precision. Reduce the ADS damage falloff scaler from 1.7x to 1.6x. Reduce the zoom on Amit AR4 from 17 to 15. Pulse rifles. General. Increase the damage falloff range at zero stat 
by one meter. Aggressive increased the ADS damage falloff scaler to 1.8x. Fusion rifles, general, reduced the minimum damage fusions can deal after damage falloff from 50% to 45%. Sniper rifles, general, decreased the airborne accuracy penalty by 20%. Sniper rifles are now as accurate at base as they were before airborne effectiveness, also known as AE, with Icarus Grip. Aggressive. Decreased body shot damage from 157.5 to 135. Increased critical hit multiplier from 3x to 3.5x. Adaptive. Decreased body shot damage from 131 to 119. Increased critical hit multiplier from 2.95x to 3.25x. Rapid fire. Decreased body shot damage from 90 to 85. Increased critical hit multiplier from 32.5x to 3.45x. Shotguns. General. Decreased the airborne accuracy penalty for precision slug shotguns by 20%. Slug shotguns are now as accurate at base as they were pre-AE with Icarus Grip. Is there an echo in here? Decrease the airborne pellet spread penalty for pellet shotguns by 20%. Checkmate weapon tuning. Pulse rifles decreased bonus damage very slightly, very slightly, to decrease some resiliency forgiveness critical to body shot ratio thresholds by one tier. This does not shift optimal time to kill against, against base resilience for any pulse rifles. Hand cannons increase bonus damage slightly to remove the resiliency threshold that shifts optimal time to kill for adaptive 140 RPM hand cannons. Adaptive HCs will again kill all resilience levels with three critical hits. However, they will lose the ability to kill with three shots sooner into damage fall off than in standard crucible. How quickly that happens will still depend on the resilience of the opponent. Weapon perks. Perfect float, increased base duration from six seconds to 10 seconds, increased extended duration from seven to 12 seconds. Kickstart, reduced damage bonus from 20%, to 15%. Enhanced heal clip now heals allies when reloading after a kill. You don't say. General, modify the descriptions on how to obtain the intrinsic perks for crafted Dead Man's Tale and what each of them unlocks. Fix an issue where the defiant ghost projection was not showing the right image. Fix an issue where the word of Crota hand cannon could be crafted with unintended magazine perks a crafting glitch what fix the issue where the cataphract gl3 grenade launcher was still showing grenades in its magazine when empty fix an issue where tessellation was impairing vision when combined with certain armor pieces fix an issue where tessellation could reload its alternative fire mode an unlimited number of times in combination with Gunpowder Gamble or Arbor Warden. Yep, those were the days. Fix an issue where aggressive frame swords airborne heavy attacks required full energy and did not start the energy recharge delay. Moving on, abilities. The Strand Warlock nerfed to the fucking ground. No, no. Fix an issue where the Wanderer Tangles didn't suspend champions. Seasonal Artifact. Fix an issue where Tangles created using the Thanatotic Tangle seasonal perk had a longer cooldown than intended. Fix an issue where the Unstoppable Fusion seasonal perk would incorrectly activate on linear fusion rifles. Vendor refocusing. Reduce the price of exotic armor, tier two focusing. Hashtag discount. Player identity. Fix an issue where guardian rank objectives were displayed as completed before the player reached a rank required to claim them. 
Fix the spelling error on this seasonal challenges objective for Guardian Rank 6. The Luminous Paragon Sparrow from Guardian Games is now available in collections. And on the UI and UX front, favorited ornaments no longer act chaotically. I mean, they were getting a little randy, if you ask me. And general, fix the issue where players could send whisper messages in text chat to recipients who could not read the message due to having restricted message settings. Players will now get an error when sending a message to someone who can't receive it. Fix the issue where text chat whisper command would fail to open the text chat channel in certain cases. Fixed missing subtitle for Cade's coughing in Forsaken's opening cinematic. Cough. Updated the quest icon for the Grenade Logic Catalyst quest. The refined Revel shader now correctly reflects its additional effects when viewed in Eververse. Fix an issue that was causing players to earn triumphs for certain Guardian Game Vanguard medals when Guardian Games is inactive. Fix an issue where the Learning Light quest was not available to some players. And there you have it. Destiny 2 update 7.2.5 went live today, Tuesday, October 17th in the large year of 2023. Hope you're all doing good. Hope everyone enjoys Festival of the Lost. It's a holiday themed event. I mean, I think it's way too overhyped. The voting for the ornaments, you know, half the community likes it, the other half doesn't. Why doesn't Bungie just give us both of the ornaments and forget about this community voting? It's, it's never what everybody wants. Everyone has different opinions. Just give us both sets. You have the technology, you have the manpower, you have the resources. I, honestly, at this point in my Destiny career, I, I don't accept that you can't give us both. It's just that you decided not to. But hey, I'm just a player here, a guy putting out a video here to inform the community, start discussion. Love everybody, hate no one. Until next time, Guardians, be safe, stay vigilant, and as always, may the light protect us all. Thank you for watching. Likes and shares are very much appreciated. And subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Peace.